Hello everyone, it's Ellen and it's Mini Monday Madness Day. We're painting a mini sunflower barn. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's a sunflower barn, but it's a barn with sunflowers. Um, I go everything step by step. Um, pretty easy to draw and paint. Um, if you're a Patreon member, you get to download the Traceable. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a place people go and support my channel. I have Traceables, ad-free videos, exclusive tutorials there on Thursdays, and other content. Um, you can check it out over here. Boop. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and let's get painting. Alrighty, for this uh, tutorial, I'll go over my supplies. I have a three inch square of arched 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Um, I have my palette, my paints, my paper towel, my brushes. I'll be using Princeton uh, number four and number six long round velvet touch series brush. Um, I just have a piece of cardboard here so you can see the actual little square my paints as I go I'll use I'll go over them as I use them pretty much and if you're like I said if you're a patreon member you can download the traceable and there's a bonus traceable there for a bonus barn and sunflowers here if you know basically I can show you um, to, to our basic barn you know you need a rectangle here right then you have your square kind of here but then you're going to kind of go up like this, not a triangle, like a slant, a slant, a slant, and then you kind of kind of bring it out, and then you're gonna go down, down, cut this part off. That would be your, that would be your barn, and then you have your square and your door and your little square windows, and then the little island here, and then just trees, just kind of like put the trees like this, and then we're gonna be doing the little branches off that. But sunflower is pretty much simple, round, round circle, and all those little petals, just kind of like that. I'm just whipping through this, but that's kind of how the feel is. I have a similar one like this for fall. Um, I'll link it below, but that's how it is. So I have the barn here already traced in. See, you can see the outline of my little barney. <laughs> and we'll just start off doing the sunflowers we're going to paint around the sunflowers um like i said i have my princeton six and four i'll try using my six first the four is really small so got my bright cadmium yellow deep right i don't want to just plain old bright yellow you want to mix in some other yellows so i'll put it over here i could take some brilliant orange i have here and mix it in you know, when you're doing sunflowers, they come in different kind of tones, yellows, little browns. I'll take that same color here and I'll mix some burnt umber in there. Just like that. I might mix a little burnt umber in with my bright yellow. And if you can even get more orange in this one. So I got like three yellow, <clears throat> excuse me, got three yellows going. So this is really tiny. Let me zoom in a little more. Excuse my nails, I like spilt uh ink all over my desk today yeah i'm doing good i'm gonna grab some more of this yellow mix it up so we're gonna just start by painting in the little yellow petals actually i might make a little more paint it's a little so it's 50 50 here with the water but i might actually make it thicker and less water just because it's so tiny and i don't want it to bleed everywhere so I'm just making the simple little strokes. You see that with the tip of my brush? You can make them bigger. You can have some big sunflowers in the front and some small ones in the back. See, I'm just gonna go, and it's gonna come outside of this little vignette that we have drawn in here. You see, I'm just making this simple petals. Um, some of them are straightforward like you see here, but I'm going to put some sideways. I don't feel like that's natural. So that means the circle is going to get kind of cut off. I'm just going to put them around here. While it's still damp, you can grab some of the yellow orange tone and just kind of bleed in here. See, just tapping with the tip of the brush. Just tap, tap, tap. Can add some ones out here. 
you can grab some of that front umber yellow too and go in here and tap in there. That one might, might have bled too much. That's okay, just go and fix it. So you're going to do some more sunflowers here. Like I said, I'm showing them kind of like half covering that circle. This one was a little straightforward, which I realized I didn't really like that. And I'm grabbing some of the orange. And again, I'm just going to do a little teeny one down here. Got some yellow. See how there's some yellow ones and some orange ones? And there's going to be a little one back here. It gets really tiny. Little teeny petals. <laughs> like one's like peeking here. And I'll put another one peeking over here. You're going to have to paint the greens in between, which is going to be kind of a pain, but you'll be, I think you guys can handle it. So you go back over and make all those little petals. So sunflower petal, they're so tiny, but just this little, I'm making a big one so you can understand. See, you're curving. Or go like this. Just the strokes like this, stroke, stroke, very simple strokes in a tiny scale. I mean, you kind of know what it is. You don't have to figure it out. Okay, now I'm gonna go onto the barn. I'm gonna make it red, why not? Um, I like to mix my red, so I have quinacridone magenta, and I'll take some of this yellow it's a bright red, orangey red. See that? And again, we're going to have to have a deeper color for shadow. So I've got that magenta here, a little bit of the yellow. And I'll do a touch of like ultramarine blue just to get it darker. So you keep adding a little more of that blue, and then you get that deeper red right there. Oh. <laughs> I realized you couldn't see that because it was zoomed in. So I made the bright red and then I added some blue and it made it a little bit darker. I'll clean up your brush. I'm just going to take that red. Not too much water. I'm going to have to mix up some more. Okay. If you find that you have a lot of water on your brush, just tap it on your paper towel. It takes off the excess. You're just going to fill this in. Actually, I need some more water. It's too concentrated. We want it bright red. You can also tape down, which I probably should have did, is tape down my piece of paper here, which I didn't do. I normally do that, but I didn't today. I'm like holding it down. I'm just going to fill in this barn like so. Now the roof won't be red, obviously. Now you're going to work around your sunflowers. Just be very careful. Leave a little white. And then here. While it's still damp, we can add in some of that deeper red. Right under here, with a bleed. See like the roof line would be giving a shadow. And under here, a little bit here. Do a little more in here, kind of like edge the whole thing. A little more on this side though. Because that would be in the shadow. I'm adding a little more red, kind of it washed out. There. See? You got your little barn. <laughs> While that's drying, we can work on some of the greens and then we can go into the roof. Um, we have those yellows that we mix for the sunflower. Now see that sunflower yellows have dried. 
you want to get really technical I'm gonna zoom in grab some of those deeper orange really concentrated kind of yellows that you mixed up this is getting really technical and just go into each little petal kind of do the little V lines see that really teeny lines from the center outward that's when you're getting really technical it's a tiny painting but doesn't have to be a shortcutted kind of painting so I'm just kind of tapping it in just in like the center part see that you can add a little brown to this one make a little different go back in because you know it's going to dry lighter just going back in and adding in some of this deeper tones right in where it meets the center and some more bright yellow too don't be afraid guys so you can go back in and add just tapping in with my little brush it's really tiny but the effect is kind of cool <laughs> okay moving on gonna go back to the other brush I'm gonna make some greens now each one of these trees should have like a little different tone green to them you can just use the yellows you have mix some of this peacock blue right in there look at that green one green take some more peacock blue mix it in this one add some Prussian blue you got a deeper green you want a bright one too so we'll add some peacock blue for this bright yellow here add some more yellow got a bright green see that pretty green so you can put one of those down here what I like to do is get a little more water in there push that paint around it's kind of like a circle with little bumpy edges see it's pretty damp you can put that same color kind of out here too I'm playing around while it's damp and it's starting to dry I'm gonna do a little wet and wet technique we're just adding a deeper color to the edge so I got that dark green over here right here that we mixed up just tap a little bit on the edge see just gonna touch it have it bleed in a little bit now if it's not really bleeding it's kind of staying there you can go back in with your color and kind of push that back around and it will bleed you don't have to do that that's just something else to think about a little darkness And then the other ones could be, I guess, at a different color, so a little darker. This one could be darker. And because it's behind the barn, I'll add a little Prussian blue, make it even darker. See that? Just on the edges. And then this one, I'll add a little brown to it, a little brown, bluish grain, just to make it a little bit different. Different color trees. You don't want to keep them all the same color. And then I'll put that one over here too. A variety of color. Look how cute that looks. This one kind of bled into this one. Not a problem though. 
And I do want to fix the corner. Grab that bright green. And just kind of push that paint around. Voila! And now we got to do the greens in between the sunflowers. Now we'll do start off with the light bright green like we have here. A little too wet so we're gonna have to push that down and try. <laughs> this will make make you a little crazy going in between the sunflowers. Going into land. We're gonna do a little bleeding too in this one. So we have the little It's like it's floating on an island, right? So you put the green down here. Finish off your vignette. So you've got some green in here. Just filling in all those little areas. It is a little time consuming, but therapeutic actually. Fill in all those little green areas. With that one green, that pretty limey green. Okay. And then we're going to take, we're going to make that Prussian blue green. I've added some yellow, some Prussian blue. So it's a little bit darker than this limey green. I'm going to bleed in the color. I'm going to add a little more Prussian blue. That's a little too dark. Okay, so it's like a medium green. Getting a little bit darker back here. La la la. And when that dries, we're going to go back in an even darker green for the stems of the sunflowers. While it's drying, while it's still damp in some areas, you could go in and just grab some Prussian blue. I have it on my tip of my brush. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm just gonna tap that color kind of up here. Tap, tap, tap. And then here and then down here. <laughs> it's gonna be really tight in between those sunflowers, but see, I'm just gonna put that color in between. Voila. All right, we're gonna move on to the roof. Obviously, I'm gonna use my burnt umber, some brown. Water it down. Do I want to keep it all brown? Eh, let's try. Might add a little. I have a little. It's my little cheat. Is my black wash right here? I'll put it over here. I could add it to the brown too. Clean up my brush, and I'll take my brown paint. And I'll lightly stick in. You can make it gray or black. It doesn't have to be brown. Your roof. I'm going to add to this darker color. Bleeding in. So that's pretty wet. I wouldn't have probably made it this wet, but I'll just grab some of this black brown concentrated color. Touch the roof here and here on the edges. If it looks a little too fuzzy, just make it less watery. I'm just gonna miss take up some of this paint that's bleeding into the red. I'll go back in and add some less wet brown. Again, it's kind of bleeding a little too much, but that's okay. I'm going to add a little more black. See, it's bleeding into my barn. So what you do is you take you take off the paint and just kind of lift it up and tap it on your paper towel. And we'll go back in and fix that. For the barn door, um, you could keep it white still and just make that crisscross with the black. 
we can add you know red to that and then do the crisscross I think I might do red or you can leave it white so you can add the red in between like this and leave it white I'm actually going to grab the deeper tone red this is a little tricky I'm still using the number six here if you want to switch to number four it's harder to do that and if you mess up you can always just use white gouache just to make a crisscross the windows will be like paint square black I just fill those in for our actual sunflowers we'll start off using the like brown center leave a little white halo if you can on the side see we'll fill those in and then I'll just bleed in some of this black you don't want it too dark so I'm filling in the circle or the half circle because it's on its side as you can see trying to leave a little white little white space right there you see the little white spaces and I'll go in and take my black and I'll touch it in there just in the sides so it's like a black brown really tiny I know <laughs> making you guys crazy at this point you can take like make a dark green so you've got your Prussian blue mixed with your yellow right Prussian blue get it pretty dark add some more Prussian blue you might want to grab your four brush now this is pretty thick it's almost like wasabi which is like that paste for like sushi I don't want to use a lot of water because it's gonna be less it's gonna be harder to control we just put a line down and just make these little leaves See, just little leaves here. Like that. If you can go in between, give some definition to the sunflower. It's just too tricky. Add a little more leaves. You might make yourself crazy. And I did forget the little center here. Really, see this one does more control. So, we're going to grab some of that deep red we mixed up. Go back into here. Try and go around these leaves here. And differentiate that this is deeper because it's in the shadow on this side. See, I'm adding the deep, deeper red. And you can add some to the underneath part here of the burn. And then we're going to just take, this is probably dry. No, it's still wet. <laughs> so I'm going to add like a little brown tree uh, right there. The branch part, this bottom part of the tree there. So this seems a little damp. Let me just check it out again. Could put some brown, concentrated brown. You can get really technical now. You can add like little shingles. Just going across like this. Right? And then take your black. Still damp, it might not work well, but you want to edge the burn here. Here. Windows fix them a little bit, and then that deep red again. You can go make these little slats so it's like the boards going across with this little tiny brush. Oh, it's so cute! And this one has a lot more control. If I could fill in this area again, a lot more control. 
control. You don't have to leave that part white. You could have made it, you know, black instead. Just want to do something different with that. Okay, so for the trees, um, I have white gouache. <laughs> this one's dried, so I'm going to put a new one here. We're going to make all the little branches, but we're going to make it on white, though. Clean off my brush, make sure it's all clean. Add a little bit of water, not too much. Enough to move the paint. You don't want it translucent, you want it opaque. So we're just going to put in some branches here. Go down. Kind of out like this. And then branch them off those branches. I think this needs a little more water. Not enough control. Okay, so there we go again. Maybe a little bit thicker. That one's a little too skinny. So you can really see it. I'll go back over this one. If they're too tiny, you can't see it. And it just ruins the fun. So we're making a branch, a line and little branches off that. Remember we have this kind of one similar in my like a fall barn. But we're doing a summer one with sunflowers. Oh, cut on my roof, but we can fix that. Just making a line down, a line over here, 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 and then branches off that. You want them kind of thicker than what I'm doing here. So they really stand out. See what I mean by the gouache? You just take the gouache to make the X. And it's perfectly there. And you can do like a little thing with the windows. A little white. I cleaned up my brush and fixed that black that I painted right over. So I'm taking that deep red. If you have a Lism Crimson, that works really great too. Just make some slots again to match the ones that you had before on the other one. So now it's just all little details. Right? You can really go in and fix your sunflowers. Like I said, a little, you can have a little line on the outside of each petal if you want to, just to make them stand out a little more. Isn't it cute? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this mini Monday madness, sunflower barn. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. And also, don't forget, if you're a Patreon member, you get a bonus chaseable. It's like another way to do the barn. Um, it's not a vignette. It's more like a scene. Um, yeah. So, and please don't forget to, forget to hit the bell notification button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.